fate of the planets is intricately tied with that of the star that they orbit, so for our own solar system, the sun dictates our fate. As our sun has changed, so has the potential for life on our neighboring planets. Their history shows that habitability is a delicate balance. that doesn't always last. There is only one planet that has retained its water and habitability, and that's Earth. What's remarkable about Earth is the stability of those conditions, that Earth has been able to maintain oceanic conditions at its surface throughout its entire history, through billions of years, and that's what's facilitated the very rich biological evolution of Earth. Earth is a very special place. It's the only place in the universe where we know definitively that there is life. For that to happen, you need not just liquid water appearing on a planet, but liquid water staying on a planet, and that's the magic of Earth. Thanks to the size and geology of our planet, the atmosphere has remained stable enough for billions of years, protecting the precious water that has enabled complex life to evolve. Life has woven itself into the fabric of the planet. to shape the continents and the oceans. So that now, life itself maintains the very atmosphere that protects our fragile ecosystems. But as the sun continues to grow hotter, temperatures on Earth rise. Upsetting weather patterns, raising great storms across the planet, and devastating droughts. As plants around the world die out, oxygen levels plummet. Around a billion years from now, the age of complex life on Earth will finally draw to a close. Earth will ultimately be like uh, Venus and Mars, just mostly CO2. There'll be no, nothing else really in the atmosphere. And it will remain in that state as sort of hot, oven planet until ultimately the sun, when it uh, uses up its hydrogen and goes into a different phase, will become what we call a, a red giant. You know, as we've seen in other stars throughout our galaxy, throughout the universe, our sun will continue to get hotter and hotter over time. And at that point, it will expand greatly to the point where it will uh, nearly engulf the Earth entirely, and at that point, the uh, planets will, will lose their atmospheres and they'll be just sort of swept away. As it exhausts its hydrogen fuel, the sun's outer edge inflates as our star enters its red giant phase, expanding millions of kilometers out into space. Mercury is the first to be engulfed. Then Venus's fate is sealed.
Some models predict that Earth may barely escape the fiery fate of its neighbors. Hanging on beyond the edge of the dying star with Mars, But the long era of the four terrestrial planets will be over. The lives lived on one of them, nothing more than a distant memory. <laughs>